Hi, Pierre Lucy. So, thanks a lot for your patience and for being here. We are doing this conference in October and we decide to have some interview with some of uh, deep transpersonal person. I ask three questions and uh, then uh, we will uh, present to the conference as transpersonal legacy panel. Because the topic of the conference is waking up out of the cave, I would like to ask you, when uh, you listen the word waking up, what do you think about what is for you waking up? Uh, well, basically it's waking up to consciousness, waking up to realizing that human beings are conscious and that's very special. It is not something that matter can have by itself. It is uh, not something that can be wholly mechanical. Consciousness is always open, always creative, always full of possibilities. To work yeah. up to consciousness in, in its complete freedom to explore the possibilities, what is called enlightenment. Yes. And, yes. Yes. and that's what awakening reminds me of. I know that you spoke about uh, quantum consciousness, uh, and I read uh, many of your books. Uh, could you say something uh, related with this uh, quantum consciousness with uh, awakening? Yes. I wrote a book called uh, self Wide Universe, in which I described my own discovery of how I found out consciousness is the ground of being and consciousness is the basis for spiritual enlightenment as well, as well as being the basis for science. So in that, the, the crucial point that I make is that consciousness creates the universe and we are co-creators. Human beings are very special. It's top of the totem pole of evolution and human beings have a special duty to bring further evolution on the planet. And this further evolution will happen if human beings can be encouraged, enthused, inspired to follow meaning and purpose rather than trivial pursuit of information social media that they do today. So how to do it is creativity. How to do it is the one concept where we can connect even the most ignorant man, love. So uh, this is really basically the, what the message of the integration of science and spirituality that happens in quantum physics is. If we can bring creativity, love, the archetypes in general, especially truth, in our life and explore meaning and purpose, then consciousness one day will be fully embodied in manifestation. Sometimes I wonder, having this vision, we are crossed by consciousness and uh, we could wake up to this. I wonder the reason why people, uh, so many people are sleeping. Well, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so the, the point is that, you know, it is very comfortable to stay in the base level condition because you don't have to do anything. It is a fact that although we have the prerogative of creativity, it is the fact that people are uh, mostly given the gift of inertia. Inertia, they don't want to do anything. That tendency of not doing anything, especially when the scientists and the um, supposedly intelligent leaders of our society tell us that it's okay not to do anything. In fact, they tell us that we could not do anything anyway, because mm -hmm. even if we have experience, they don't mean anything, they don't have a causal efficacy, all we do are mechanical anyway, although they may seem creative. So when you get such blanket approval of ignorant activities like information processing and social media, then that gives you a license. That license is very difficult to overcome because, you know, as I said, with natural tendency, as with matter, with human beings also, is to stay in where you are. Don't change. So I think this is the major reason that people can be kept ignorant of the potentialities they have. And on top of it, the population has grown. So the way we make advancements that cannot keep up with the population growth. So we can expect some changes only when the population growth will stop. And then overall, there will be a time when the, the personal growth of the few people who can make it will start being obvious. And there will be some statistical sign of saying, seeing that you can actually wake up to the human potential and change and 
be better when that becomes very obvious, then people will wonder, okay, can we also do this? Can we also leave our base level condition, not be manipulated by our leaders and join the journey of consciousness? Something like the undead monkey. Yes, something like the hundred monkeys, although the hundred monkey itself it did never happen in actual experimental data, but the phenomenon has relevance. So something like the hundred monkeys, but not quite that way. I really think that we have to educate very actively. You know, something like the quantum activism movement that I created and I always push, something like that. Education is needed. Education does not have the kind of backup that Sheldrick thought that it may have, that's the hundred monkey theory. But even without the hundred monkey kind of backup, we, we still can do it just by simply educating people. Look, science did not, modern science did not accept, did not get accepted by the society all of a sudden. It took roughly 300 years to get it accepted. And, and still many, many people uh, put their, uh, I would rather put their children into religious dogmatic schools, scientific schools. Of course, scientific schools are also dogmatic now that the dogma of materialism has entered schools, but still it has less dogma than the others. So I think given that 300 years number, we cannot expect any major change towards something like quantum worldview where people, people really have to be creative. And that brings overcoming not only me-centeredness, not only inertia, but also negative emotion, the affinity for pleasure, that's a heavy duty stuff of transformation. But yeah. I'm, I am positive that we can do it. Because yeah. once one discovers true happiness and the fact that we can go beyond pleasure, pleasure something gets tired up, pleasure gets, pleasure is very temporary, pleasure tires you out and gets boring after a while. So when people realize these things, Negative emotions, of course, are very destructive, and misunderstandness is destructive to relationship. When people realize these things and education is available, then I think change will happen rapidly. Yes, perfect. The second question is more personal. I remember we had another conference, another interview, and you said to me about your uh, heart opening, uh, uh, thanks to your uh, wife, and I maybe. I would like to ask you, what was the most important in your life for awakening? Maybe an experience or... Well, it is, without question, uh, it is the pursuit of how to be loving, how to love. I had an early experience of the archetype of wholeness, which is similar to awakening experiences. But, you know, the point is that I did not transform in, with such an experience. What transformed me really the push that I felt from my wives, the wise wives who pointed me in the right direction. And I eventually was able to take that and pursue it, and pursue it and pursue it until uh, it was fait accompli. So it is very important to pursue something that you believe, pursue something that you know gets you somewhere because relationship with at least one person visibly gets better. This is why love is so demonstrative, demonstratively. That you can see that, yes, your relationship is better because you are happy and your partner is also happy. And that's something so unique. You cannot see that in other things very readily. Although sometimes, like exploration of truth with science, uh, we theorize and that the theory is verified, so you can see it there too. But in love, you see it every day. So that's very unique. The women wisdom. Uh, yes, goddess, yes. the goddess, but also yes. the lucky is a lucky <laughs> to find to find them. Yes, you have to be very lucky to find them. Yeah. The last uh, question is: Would you like uh, to send a message or leave a message for a young generation with uh, maybe are uh, listening to you at our conference or everywhere? I hope they are. I sh see some signs that some young people are tired of trivial pursuit and are paying attention to meaning and purpose. So the, the really the message simply is that, you know, young people are very fortunate people. If they're aware, especially when, and if they're aware that in their teens, they have really two great opportunities. My Myself could experience both opportunities, but I took one of them, failed in the other for a long time. 
due to opportunities that are one, meaning and purpose, that we have meaning and purpose in our life. And the second one is that we have possibility of love that shows up in romantic love experience that almost every teenager can experience if they have a little bit of open mind. So I had both experiences, but I did not follow up the romantic love. I did follow up the meaning and purpose to some extent, but both really became important and perseverant follow-up only after I attained midlife, around 40. So my message to young people today is that don't wait till 40. Why waste this vast amount of time? Because look, meaning and purpose, is, the message is not to explore meaning and purpose outside of life, outside of the world, like in the olden day, you know, spirituality meant that you give up on the world of pleasure. No, it means nothing like that. We have to transform the world that we experience, the ordinary life. And for that, you have to stay in ordinary life. You have to stay in your career. You have to stay in your relationship and still embody meaning and purpose embody the archetypes. And for this goal to be active, be aware. When you are achieving teenage, be aware that this is not only changing your physiology, but it's the time to wake up to these archetypes. Not entirely to human potential, that, that will happen gradually, but you must wake up to the fact that love is doable and purpose, archetypes gives us purpose and they are also doable. If you know that they are doable and never give up the engaging with either doable things, that's living life to its fullness. The time is now. Time is now. It was great. It was great. I thank, thank you, you so Kevin. much. I thank you so much. People will love uh, your uh, interview and I hope uh, we, miss, we meet, meet each other again. Yes, thank we you. will. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 bye.